Hi guys, it's Ouch One Now. How's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. It's time for the July parcels, smelly mail, gifts, purchases video. Let's um let's look at the stuff that I came into my possession in July. Oh, one other thing before I start, and I don't want a long intro. Somebody asked me recently, do I have a P.O. box address where they can send me stuff to sniff? I don't know how that works, but it's something that I would consider. I just maybe need your guys' help in the comments. I always get asked, can you review this? Can you give me your opinion on this? Can you smell that? And it's not always things that I can immediately give an opinion on because, you know, there are millions of perfumes out there and not everything is accessible all the time in sample form. So do you think that's something worth setting up? I mean, I, I don't know, maybe I could do a quarterly or however many things I receive, I don't know, sniff along video or a first impressions of things that people have wanted me to try. It's something new I'm considering. I don't know how it works, but I can look into it. Is that something that you guys would like? Is there stuff that you want me to smell and give you my opinion on? Because I can do that. I just don't know how it would work. We can figure it out. Let me know in the comments. So the first little bunch of stuff I got, I was talking to a guy called Michael Mahew on Instagram and he wanted to send me these little things to try. There's a brand called Memoirs of a Perfume Collector and it's a London brand. I love that name. I was really intrigued by them. So this is them. And he sent me three of them. Some of this stuff I have tried and some of the, this stuff I am yet to try. But, um, oh, one died already. The samples are really nice. They're, I love samples that have their own, is it gonna focus, YouTuber hand. There you go. I love samples that have their own little lid. And the names are so tiny on the top of the, the sample that I couldn't really see them. But they're called Cute Things. They came with a little set of cards as well. And let's see, the sun is going in and out of behind clouds today. So the lighting in this video, I struggle with it anyway. So it's gonna be dodgy today. So one is called Lost in the Desert. One is called Tales from Zanzibar. And one is called A Night in Marrakesh. I did actually try all three of these because I was intrigued. I really like the whole, I don't know, aesthetic of them. One, let me just remind myself, one was very fruity and tropical, but in a nice way. I like the, the feel of these fragrances. They feel very nicely constructed and with nice materials as well. This one was my favorite. I think it's the Marrakesh one, possibly. One's kind of an oudy one, but it's a very nice, crisp oudy fragrance. Which one is it now? Oh, it's Lost in the Desert. The Lost in the Desert is the one that I really liked. It's oud, frankincense, jasmine, myrrh, uh, and bourbon vanilla, so nice notes. Yeah, really elegant, crisp, sharp one. And then the last one was kind of coconutty. Yeah, this one, I, I, which one is this one? I think it's the, the Marrakesh one. The Marrakesh one is the one that's kind of coconutty. Feels like something I'd wear on holiday. It's, it's coconutty without being suntan lotion-y. So thank you, Michael, for sending me these. I'm gonna actually fully wear all of them. They're gonna go into this little bag that I have of things to be worn samples. So I've, I have tried them. So they're really nice. Maybe look them up. What's their website? I'm gonna put a link to all of the websites of them. But yeah, Memoirs of a Perfume Collector. It's pretty cool, I like it. It says Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on the card but then it's Memoirs of a Perfume Collector London. I keep going to say Memoirs of a Trespasser by uh, Imaginary Authors Perfume. Anyway, let's look at the next thing. So at the same time, I was talking to a guy called John and he's from Scented Snowdrops. That's his name on Instagram. I think possibly he has a YouTube as well. He sent me this bag of eight by Killian samples. I really think he's trying to sway me. I've done two videos on by Killian because I've always said it's not a brand that I get along with. A lot of them are very sweet and I don't really wear sweet things that much because everything turns sweet on me anyway. So wearing sweet stuff, I've moved away from it. I don't, I'm very particular about the sweet things I wear. So he sent me eight by Killian things to try that I haven't. None of these I've tried and I think I'm going to try one right now because in here is 
Angel's Share, which is everywhere I turn, I bump into Angel's Share. When it came out, it was just everywhere. So let's see if the hype is real. Well, the hype's real. Let's see if the hype is warranted. Okay, Angel's Share. Here it is, YouTuber hand. Angel's Share. Let's spray it because everyone goes on about this perfume. The bottle is absolutely beautiful. Mmm, mmm. This is, to me, like an aromatic tobacco. Very sweet though, again, Killian loves the sweet. You can really feel the leafiness of tobacco here. It's smooth, but it's... Oh, I wonder what else is in there. It feels a bit like tea, and I can feel a lot of wood as well, other than the tobacco, because tobacco is a, a woody note in itself anyway. Mmm, kind of aromatic, sweet tobacco. I don't know if I can feel like a booziness as well. I'll have to discover it more, but I thought I'd just quickly smell it since Angel Share is, Angel Share is everywhere. Yeah, it definitely feels a bit boozy, like there's whiskey or something in there, but mainly it's a smooth tobacco. Anyway, next thing. Oh, and thanks John for sending me them. I will try them, believe me, when I have time. The next three things I bought myself and I was really excited about it because I have not bought a perfume from this brand for way more than a decade. I've been collecting them since 2005 and then I just fell off the radar and didn't really buy any for ages. So it's a brand called Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Some of you will know it. I'm guessing a lot of you won't. They're a very indie perfume brand that are kind of gothic and they sell little oils. I just had the urge to get some back in my collection or buy a couple of them because I haven't done it for so long. So I bought myself three. I bought two from one lady. I bought these two. Both of them are called Blue Moon. And this one in particular, I wanted to get this one the most because I had this when it came out. It came out in 2007 and I got swap lifted is the word. There was somebody that was going around the Black Phoenix forum, t looking at everyone's wish lists and it messaging them individually and saying, hey, I've got this that's really high on your wish list. Do you want to swap it for this that's, that's in, that you own? And then she just made off with everyone's stuff and never sent anything. And Blue Moon was the thing that I lost in the swap lift. So, and I really liked it. Um, but she offered me something that I really, really wanted, so I was willing to give it up and I lost it. So I found a lady that sold it and I love it. It's one of my favorite Black Phoenix perfumes. It's very multi spring pastel blue floral smell. And every time they release a perfume that's called something moon, they have this thing called they call it lunar oils. I don't know what it is, but it's this blend of something they put in their moon perfumes that just has this feeling that I can't describe. So I bought two different blue moons. I bought a blue moon that I'd never smelled before as well, which is very different from that one. I love this one as well. It's a kind of aromatic, maybe patchouli smelling, bright blue smelling perfume. Oh, just really like it. So I got those two. And the third one I got from someone else and it's called budding moon. I have to do the YouTuber hand. I'm really sorry, but these things are very little. And this one smells like quite a few of the other ones I've tried, so I don't like it as much, but I'm just glad I got it. It's really all about this blue moon that I'm really happy about. It's very springtime, very, very cute. And so, yeah, each of those people sent me bunches of little samples as well, but they're not going to be in the video because they're literally that big. But yeah, Kind of matches my eyes, don't you think? Don't you think, huh? So the next two things were gifts from my boss, actually. And this perfume I've wanted for the longest time, and I'm so glad that I got it now. It is Lot 34, and it's by Diptyque. This one. I wish my camera would play ball and stop adjusting itself. I have it set so that won't happen, but it's still happening. What can you do? And I love this. This is the perfume that's meant to smell like the whole Diptyque shop. They took Headspace technology from the air in a shop and put it into a perfume. And it's kind of a signature for them. I love it. It's blackcurrant leaves. I think there's cardamom in here. 
there are multiple florals, but it's a kind of a stemmy, springtime floral type smell. Not like Blue Moon at all, but wanted this forever and now I have it. So I'm really happy about that. Yum. Adding to that, this one, it's the black version of it. Both of them are Eau de Toilette. This one is much more resinous. This one is balms and resins and eucalyptus in the base. And then you have rose, geranium, violet, iris, and jasmine in the heart. And then the top is cinnamon, possibly cumin, cinnamon, pepper, I think, and cardamom. Really lovely oriental. I actually have a smaller one of these. So this is kind of gonna be my backup now, so. Yeah, I got both of those and I'm very pleased because I've wanted this for, I think more than four or five years. So, yay. The next four samples I got are from a very small independent brand from Australia called Davies Perfumes. It's owned by a guy called Shane, an incredibly sweet guy that I've been talking to quite a lot actually through Instagram. He has his own perfume line and he sent me them to try. He said, "I want you know, do you want to see how they are they're completely natural he uses or incorporates australian materials into his perfumes which i really like it's kind of like goldfield and banks they do that and i'm always interested to smell things that aren't from my country so australian materials yes please i want to try them so he's a very very nice guy and i tried these on my skin he, they're, they're very bright, they're very aromatic, they're very uplifting perfumes. He likes a lot of things like lemongrass and lavender and eucalyptus and bright. I said bright already, but they're very bright. You get the, you get the point. They're kind of airy. They, they lean for me. They have more of a therapeutic aroma, uh, aromatherapy kind of feeling. Um, as opposed to like a sultry perfume and I think that's kind of the idea so if you like naturals I would maybe try them out I'll put his website below there's one called Wisp I should have taken them out of the little packet shouldn't I there's one called Wisp there's one called Mist there's one called Tiger and there's one called Klim I, I think I've pronounced that right Klim but yeah lemongrassy lavendery calming, also uplifting perfumes, and they're vibrant and fun. So check him out if you're a natural lover. And thank you so much, Shane, for sending me them. It's been very nice chatting to you as well. The next thing came in the post out of nowhere, and I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, I, re I mentioned in my, my previous video, my June Smelly Mail Parcels video, that um, a friend of mine sent me three decants or yeah decants from a new british subscription service called hoo-ha uh, it's these guys hoo-ha and they sent me randomly in the post another one i don't know why i didn't ask them to or we didn't chat about it i don't know if i'm now unintentionally subscribed to their subscription service if they're just going to keep coming i'm not complaining <laughs> i'm i'm happy to receive them but they sent me Maxed Out, a 10 mil of Maxed Out by 4160 Tuesdays. This one's an ultra woody perfume. I'm going to spray it on this hand. Angel Share's kind of nice. It's still a bit too sweet for me, but... Yeah, this is like varnished wood and greenery. I think I can feel like a lemongrass note in here. So if you don't know who who ha are, um, a, a good friend of mine is the curator of the brand. She is the one that chooses which brands are going to be represented, which ones are going to be available to you if you subscribe to them in 10 mils. And upon a bit of further research, they have three levels of subscription. So if you want to dip your toes into the niche world, they have like a beginner level where you sign up and you'll get a 10 mil every month but it won't be something too scary. This one, when I read about it, is on their top level of a bit out there kind of perfume. So yeah, it's designed, like I said, it's designed for people that wanna discover niche but don't wanna to commit to full bottles, but they do sell the full bottles of anything that you can decant. So if you do try it out for a month and then you really like it, you can still get the bottle. It's not out of reach. So thank you, hoo-ha for this. Uh, thank you as well, Brooke, for sending me the other ones. I am in love with 
that one that I said in my last video. I can't remember what it's called now, but I, I really, really like it. Anyway, so that's from them. I'll put their website below as well. The next ones were something that I really wanted to try for since I heard about them. And a really good friend of mine, Jim, from my group sent me all three of the samples and two others as well. He sent me a couple of ones by Rogue Perfumery. But these three are by Freddie Albrighton. See them? Freddie Albrighton happens to be my favorite YouTube reviewer. I say that used to be because he stopped doing it to pursue other things in his life. But he's now released his own fragrance line. He's a British, cool British guy who stopped doing YouTube, I guess, to pursue other things and mainly become one of the most sought after tattoo artists in this country, I guess. He's amazing. But yeah, I've really enjoyed these. I'm actually wearing boys today. There's four I think he's released, but I got to try three. So thank you so much, Jim. Uh, because yeah, they, they sell out quite quickly. So I was glad that I got to try them. Uh, one of them was a kind of burnt sugary type smell. Boys is a violet perfume that has this latexy doll head. It smells to me like if Strawberry Shortcake had a friend that was a purple friend. I don't know, Vicky Violet or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's like a purple Barbie smell, if that makes any sense. I'm wearing it now, it's really great. Uh, so yeah, I was glad I got to try them. I'm gonna feature boys in an upcoming video I'm doing all about violets, so look out for that one. And yeah, he sent me two by Rogue, which I forgot to get for the video, but they are both tuberose perfumes and I haven't tried them yet, but I will. Jim, by the way, also makes really funny, not memes, but pictures of me and posts them in my group. I'll put some in the video now so you can see them. This one is my favorite. And the last thing is this twinkly, shiny thing. Lots of twinkles and sparkles. This is a brand called Spirit of Kings. The brand sent me this. This is a brand that I saw pop up on everyone's YouTube channel, kind of all at the same time. I think the brand obviously contacted people and said, hey, do you want to try our perfumes? And people said, yeah, uh, I wasn't one of those people. <laughs> until now, <laughs> uh, they contacted me and said, hey, do you want to try one? I said, okay, sure, because I always do. And um, I mean, I always want to try new things is what I mean. And they said I could choose whichever one I wanted. And I chose one called Altair. And I chose it for two reasons. The first reason is Altair is the name of the first assassin in the Assassin's Creed franchise for PlayStation and it's one of my favorite franchises. Second of all, because apparently this was supposed to smell a bit like Tom Ford's Black Orchid, which I love. So I chose that one. And I can say, I think I like it more than Black Orchid. Don't tell Tom Ford. Is it a dupe for Black Orchid? No, I don't think it's meant to be. It definitely smells very, very similar though, but it has more floral notes and it also has a white musky type feel. And let me tell you about the longevity of this perfume. I put this on at eight o'clock in the eve uh, morning. I got home at half past eight the same night and I went into a shop and the woman behind the counter said, wow, you smell really good. I can smell your aftershave through my mask. So this is a 12 hour plus perfume. Yes, it does smell like Black Orchid. I don't know if Spirit of Kings are, I mean, I don't think they're a dupe brand. That would be quite mean to say, but I haven't tried any of the others. Definitely love this though, definitely keeping it. If you like Black Orchid, you will like this. I can safely say that. But yeah, they're, I think they're a UK brand and their bottles are kind of, they look like this. That's, that's what the bottles look like. They're kind of twinkly and I like twinkly things. I love this. The spray is really nice. Yeah, it's, it's like Black Orchid, but it's more flowery. And it's definitely got a white musk going on, but it's, it's the core of Black Orchid really. Definitely gonna be wearing this in autumn. So thank you so much to the brand for sending me it. I, I really like it and I kind of knew that I would. I am intrigued to see what else they sell now. 
So Altair, I have a fragrance named after an assassin from my favourite computer game franchise. That's why I chose it. So that's it, that's the little bits and pieces of stuff that I was sent to try in July. I will maybe do it in August if there is stuff for me to try. Who knows, maybe I'll get another hoo-ha thing in the post. I don't know. But other than that, I hope you guys like this video. If you think I should set up a PO box thing, if you guys want to send me samples of things to try and hear my opinion, I can make it a monthly video or I can make it a quarterly video where I will sniff the things that you want me to sniff and I will tell you what I think about them. I don't know if, I, I don't, I'm not that important really, but if you want that to be a thing, comment below and let me know. For now, enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're doing. I'm out from my note, trying to make the world smell better. One video at a time. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.